Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome to another Let's Talk. In this episode, mech packaging for sales. Um, an idea that I came up with the other day, just about uh, how things are going. So right now they're doing the whole single mech, mech thing for you know, 70, 80 bucks, 20 bucks for three, 40 bucks for four, and all this stuff, and hero mechs and, and all that stuff, and a lot of people that I know have been kind of sitting back going, like, why am I going to spend 40 bucks and get four mechs when I can get six for 40 if I got one of the older packages? Like, the older packages, like Resistance, Resistance 2, and all that stuff, for 40 bucks, you would actually get, which would be the second tier, right? It was 20, 40, 60, and 80. And it would be 3, 3, 3, and 3, or 3, 6, 9, and 12. So there's always three mechs. And then if you pre-ordered, you got a free, you got, you got an extra mech. So, this is the way I see it. This is the way I think there should be some sort of packaging. Uh, I wouldn't say repackaging. I mean, they can still package stuff like this if they want to. But I'm thinking another package. An IS-only package or a clan-only package. Or a complete edition package. So, what you do is there's an IS and a clan option. Kind of like how, um, I think it's Wave 1 was set up. So, Wave 1 has just a whole shit ton of mechs, right? What you can do instead is a la carte it. One mech, three variants, is $20. Now, if certain mechs, obviously, a lot of them, have more than three variants. So what it'll do is it will look at three you don't have, and it will pick those three. If you already have, say, three out of the six, it'll just pick the ones you don't, which is pretty easy, right? If you don't have any, it'll just pick the first three. Or you can pick the three variants that you want, um, which would be pretty good, right? And it takes a little while, obviously, to get the mech, so, I mean, there should be no problem in that. You actually pick your mech and then pick the variant that you want, which I think is a good idea. And that's 20 bucks. So for 20 bucks, you get any mech in your sphere or clan and three variants of it. For 40 bucks, you can get six of that mech. No big deal, right? So then I'm looking at it going, well, what else can you do, right? Because there's champions and all that stuff. Um, that's where I was thinking, modify the champion prime, ver the, the the way champions and primes work. Um, I mean, or even come up with another, another way. So you have champion, clan, and inner sphere max. Actually, you probably don't have to rework that. For an extra five bucks per mech. So for $25, you get three max plus a champion variant of one of those mechs or the champion variant that's available right so, so that's no big deal 25 bucks three th three mechs plus a f plus a plus a champion so four mechs for 25 bucks it's pretty good right and then if i want to get you know through th three months down the road i want to get the other three variants of it an extra 20 bucks boom there you go and i got the mech that i want i got all the variants of it i want i even have a champion for five bucks for an extra 15 bucks or even an extra 10 bucks you can buy the hero for it. Boom, there you go. Or there'll be a complete package. Uh, for each mech, it'll be a little, it'll be, well, right now it's going to be different. So you won't be able to do complete packages on all of them because not all of them have certain mechs. But a complete package would be six variants, plus a champion, plus a hero, all combined into one big package. So it'll be, say, 40, uh, we'll say 50, uh, we'll say 50 bucks. So you end up saving, what, $10? If you buy a complete package, which is six variants, a champion, and a hero. Not a bad idea in my eyes. Um, another option would be for 20 bucks, you get three. For 40 bucks, you get another three. And it just works its way up from that. Or even a massive collective edi collector's edition. You go to purchase a mech. Like, for example, if I want to go buy Clan Wave 1 right now, it will tell me, hey, you already have the Timberwolf. So you're not going to be paying the full price. You're upgrading. The difference of the price is this to this. This is now what you're paying. They can do that as well with the full collector's edition. So call it the Intersphere Collector's Edition. Call it the Clan Collector's Edition. Or call it the Mech Warrior Online Collector's Edition. The Collector's Editions are that is that for that player that wants every kind of mech. In one big purchase. I want them all. I want a Pokemon this shit. So, there's 300 some odd mechs in the game uh, right now. So, theoretically, what you could, what they could do 
is just sit back and go, okay. So instead of paying 20 bucks a mech, you're going to pay X amount of dollars and you're going to get all the mechs that are available. Now, obviously, I would have to do my math, but say it would actually, instead of being 20 bucks for three, they knock off five bucks. So it's 15 bucks for three. So you're saying five bucks per mech, which means after four mechs, that's another package, or after three mechs, it's already another package, right? And then, you know, champions on top of that, instead of being five bucks, uh, it's two for five bucks in the, the big package. You get to pick, you know, the, the two that you want. Um, the heroes, um, heroes will not be include where would be a completely different package. So you have the hero collection as well, right? So you'd have the hero, um, inner sphere hero clan. I mean, there's only what one clan hero right now or two clan heroes. Uh, so yeah, those will change all these in time, but you can do that. You can also do a champion variant, uh, champion package, all the champions, inner sphere and clan separate three different packages there you can also do a package where it's the big package the all collector's edition every mech mech warrior has everything and then also have certain mechs that if you do this you get if you pre-order a mech from now on they, instead of doing it with these large packages of seventy dollars eighty dollars thirty dollars forty dollars just do it simple for 20 bucks you get three variants you get to pick the three because we're coming over six and after that 20 if you want to upgrade, it's fifteen bucks for a hero, or another ten bucks for the uh, for the champion, right? So it's forty bucks. And there you go. Not the champion, the special edition. Sorry. So there you go. So five bucks for the special edition, ten bucks for the hero, or fifteen bucks for the hero, or even change it to ten bucks for the hero. Who cares? And then twenty bucks for the package. That's thirty-five dollars. Or, for 40 bucks, get the whole thing. Minus whatever here or there. Something like that. Something that'll make things up and change things up a little bit. Because um, mainly right now, the way I'm looking at the packages right now, is I don't feel like I'm getting my money's worth. Um, like, I look at the Bushwhacker, and for 70 bucks, I get 5 mechs. What was it? It's three, then plus a special, that's four, five, six. There's six mechs plus a hero. So the way I look at it is I'm like, well, for six bucks, six mechs and a hero, 70 bucks. But for six me but for 60 bucks on, say, the resistance, I would get nine mechs. And of those nine mechs, three were special editions. And they came with the Z-Bill boost. So, I mean, I look at them like, well, I'm not getting as much bang for my buck as as I did a year ago. So, at least this way, they can say, here's the deal. 20 bucks, you get three mechs. 40 bucks, you get six. For an extra for an extra 10, you get the hero. An extra five, you get the special variant. If you pre-order, you get the special variant for free. Simple as that. Or you get a special variant for free. One that's only available until it gets re for like an entire year. And then that one becomes available for everybody else. You call them like the P variants. I don't know. Like, I actually can't have those because those are the, the Phoenix Package Max. But you can have like a special variant for pre-order. And then that becomes available later on down the road. Um... You know, something, some of that, or even the special edition mech is only available if you pre-order. So you get six, three or six, so three for twenty, or six for forty. Then for an extra ten to fifteen dollars, you get the hero mech. If you pre-order, you get the special edition mech for free. There you go. Later on down the road, same package price. So it's no big deal, right? And now you're just thinking, if you want to pre-order, you get that one special edition mech. You know, you throw in the usual, you know, decals and, and all that crap if you want to. But, you know, there's just definitely these things in there where they can definitely change the packaging up a little bit. Give us a reason to purchase these things as well. Um, in pre-order, for example, it's like, okay, I get a couple decals, I get uh, a camo scheme... 
I got 6.5 million C-bills. whoop de frickin' do. 6.5 million C-bills is two nights of grinding. So I save two nights of grinding. I'm going to play those nights anyway, so nobody on decals. Don't use them. Be nice to have, though. So I might, yeah, yeah but not really. I'm not too worried about decals. Um, badges, titles. I already have a badge that I like. Titles, I'm using my faction play one, so. Right? So, a lot of this stuff I find is for the collector. That person that wants things. So, that's another thing you can do instead. In the game, in, in, in the actual store, you can do decal packages. For a dollar, you can pick any decal you want. For five bucks, you get four decals. You get to pick the four decals that you want. For ten bucks, or we can go one dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, fifteen, twenty, etc., etc., etc. And you can actually pick up, you know, different, different, uh, different amount of decals, right? I think it's a good idea. It's one of those ideas where it's they could do a lot of things associated with with this store. It seems like they're 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 all based around people buying MC and Max. They have to buy the MC so they can purchase all these things in the game, and they have to be able to buy Max. If they go buy Max, we're doing good. It's like, well, hold on. What if you did a little things where it's also packages like consumable packages? Sell them online for three consumables. Of your, of your choice, it's two bucks. Or even for like six of them, nine of them. However many, it'd be, it'd be like just try to figure out the, the dollar, what an actual value of one is. Say three for 50 cents, you know. Or for like five bucks minimum purchase, obviously, because it's like international stuff. Like in Canada, you can't make a charge under five dollars or you get charged for it. So for five bucks, you get, you know, 40... 40 consumables of your choice. So you can get like two of one, three of another, eight of another, 16 of one. You can actually sit there and decide how many you want of what each of, of what you want. I think that's a great idea. You know, it's one of these things where you, you, they can do so many different things, even weapon packages. You want to buy you want to buy weapon systems? Okay. There you go. For $7, you can purchase six modules, say for example. You know, for 10 bucks, you can pick 10 modules. Well, actually, you wouldn't be able to do 10, but say like five modules, six modules. You know, a good dollar to, dollar to, you know, module ratio could be worked on with the community. Be like, hey guys, this is what we're thinking of doing. Um, we're going to think of selling modules outside of the store or through the store. Um, how much would you guys feel about charging for a module? What do you guys think a module is worth in a dollar value? Now, I mean, you get people that'll say free or a dollar. I'm thinking maybe like two bucks for a module just because of what it does, right? Some of the modules are really, really effective. So it's two bucks. You can get any module you want. It's the price of a coffee. It's like, do I want to drink coffee? Or do I want to go buy a, you know, a radar dirt module? A seismic module? Well, you know what? Really not in the mood for a coffee today. I'm going to go buy a radar dirt module instead. Something like that. Like packages where you can buy through the store and make things easier. Because to be honest with you, one of the most things I find annoying is I have to go to the store and buy MC. Then I have to wait for the MC to show up in my account. Then I have to go into the actual store, pick out what I want to buy there, purchase it again, and usually it's immediate there. But it's like, why Why do I have to go A to B to C? Why not just A? Website, store, I want to buy, these, I want to buy six modules. Boom, there you go. Simple as that. Uh, same thing with weapons. So you can buy weapon systems. Have have the community be like, okay, we want to do a long range package. What weapons would you guys like to see in a long range package? It's going to be eight weapons only. So what would you see? Like large lasers, large pulse, things like that, right? Have a short medium, like a short medium, short range pack. Have a medium range pack. Have a long range pack. You know, have a missile pack, which has. You can pick an SRM or an LRM pack for weapons. Um, have the ability to purchase um, 
you know, computer packs, so command consoles, um, targeting computers, you know, things like that. Um, ammunition packs, where you can purchase just ammunition that you need. Um, say you're, you know, you need an extra two tons of, of, of weapons. Like, no problem. Two tons of ammo for an AC-20 is 25 cents. I could see tons of people spending 25 cents on a ton of ammo. Hell, even 10 cents for a ton of ammo. No big deal. I can see people dropping a dollar on 100 tons of ammo. No big deal. Because ammo, once it's on there, it doesn't go away. Um, yeah, like all these different options that could be could be purchased through the store to go in that direction. Be like, here's the deal. Everything that you can purchase is free. You play the game, you earn your C-bills, and you purchase your stuff. I'd also like to see the ability to purchase um, McLabs for C-bills as well. Not like, Even if it's an absorbent amount, say even if it's you know $6 million for a for a Mac Bay. That's a big hindrance to a lot of people in this game. Or the Mech Bays. Give people the ability to purchase them. Earn them. With the achievements that you can earn, give people Mech Bays. Mech bays, in my eyes, are the big hurdle. But that's it. That's enough for me to package sales rant thing. See you guys next time. <laughs> Bye-bye.